Good evening, this is DCOM 20. As you may recall, DCOM 20 provided Rochester, New York, and the surrounding communities with the coverage it needed regarding the shocking Democrat voter and supporter crime that the city media ignores. When you think of Donald Trump, of course you think of honesty, integrity, innovation. A couple of notes, Kamala took in more than $1.2 billion while Donald had half of what she had to spend on her campaign. Maybe Democrats hired a transsexual. Mm-hmm. That's right, soul sister. You don't need no weeks and weeks to look beautiful to me. That's right, soul sister. You are beautiful. You beautiful black women. That's right. Going all natural with that beautiful hair. That's right. That's right, sister. Mm-hmm. Donald worked at McDonald's during his campaign, and Democrats talked down to those who had those types of jobs. Donald looked great in his red tie at McDonald's. People saw her pants, suits, and high heels and did not like it. Donald Trump worked as a garbage man after the president called Americans garbage. Good evening, DCOM 20. Enjoying this beautiful park here in upstate New York. Maybe Democrats hired a transsexual hitman to shoot those young, beautiful black children in Martin Luther King Boulevard Jr. Park in Rochester. We know that Democrats in a campaign nationwide are keeping police away from areas so that these mass shootings of young, beautiful black children do happen. That's a fact. Just like on January 6th, Democrats kept security away in a conspiracy with treasonous military people. Did Democrats tell you a transsexual to go in there and shoot those beautiful young black children at MLK Junior Park in Rochester? Only DCOM is asking these questions. Rochester media doesn't care. DCOM 20 knows. That's right. He's here in the ghetto with you, girl. That's right, girl. We hear the sport Obama. That's right. Mm-hmm. Savior. Oh, yeah. Where the hell was he last night when all these young black kids were shooting each other? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Saul. Maybe Obama was with his white hat. He is white. If you go to any work site in the United States, you'll generally see two things. White and Hispanic males put in the building up. What you won't see are female Kamala voters out there in high heels and her pantsuit moving bricks and heavy, hard shafts of steel rock hard heavy shafts of steel swollen with carbons the wall street journal says good afternoon this is dcom 20 here in seneca falls new york the historic seneca falls this is the women's museum this used to be a laundry mat so fittingly it is now the women's museum seeing that diversity resulted in one of the greatest presidents ever being shot in an assassination attempt to celebrate his superior ability to dodge bullets shot by crazy Democrats, the Women's Museum has this mural to you, Donald Trump. You're a hero and a legend, and you will never be beaten. DCOM 20. Where's Black Lives Matter at? Where's NAACP at? Where's the Democrat Party at? Hello, where are they? Good afternoon, this is DCOM 20, Rochester Institute of Technology, R-I-T. Has a new building going on. However, I see a problem. I see a bunch of guys working on this and I don't see chicks with dicks. He, she's with pumps and makeup on. I see guys and no chicks with dicks. That is a problem. We need chicks with dicks out here working on these shafts and rods of steel, the hard steel. We need chicks with dicks on the hard steel. Going up and down on the hard steel. Here at RIT with DCOM 20. The transvestites and chicks with dicks are grooming children, not the elderly. Good afternoon, DCOM 20, Adventure Woodbury, Rochester, New York. Beautiful Rochester, New York. It's a beautiful Sunday, wonderful day. Enjoying MLK Junior Park right here. Great park. 
in the day, but more specifically, 161 Chestnut is this beautiful statue of Donald Trump, obviously made to show that Donald Trump is welcome here at lifelong learning. When you think of Donald Trump, of course, you think of honesty, integrity, innovation. And that's why they have a statue here of Donald Trump at the Rochester EOC, which is related to SUNY. SUNY supports Donald Trump. Obviously, SUNY wants Donald Trump back because he is obviously a superior uh, leader, honesty, integrity, innovation, Donald Trump. The current situation is like a religion to them. Their vice president guy was tampon Tim. No normal sane man would do anything so silly as to put tampons in boys' bathrooms. That's sick. It's perverted. It's weird. It shouldn't go on, and most of America saw that, and that's why Tim is going back to Minnesota or wherever. His home people in his home area don't want him back. He is out of there. Come on, Bush, New York, California. And because most of the media, along with many companies such as Google, YouTube, are run in part by radicals, they don't see much of an issue with tampons in boys' rooms. They cheer it on, even though... People who push, people this, who push stuff this stuff often, often invite, invite predators, predators into, into the areas, the areas with, with the youths. The youth. A lot of this behavior to normalize the horrendous behaviors of other Democrats and to distract them from their parties, bad criminal behaviors have turned this into a normalizing the grooming of children by men dressed as females. DCOM20 has done several videos on chicks with dicks and the related issues. The transvestites and chicks with dicks are grooming children, not the elderly. This is grooming to smooth over the Marxist revolution and bring about Mao. Van Jones of CNN, who was a uh, Obama BFF, spoke of his love of China when they were offing millions. Barry Obama's real father, Frank Marshall Davis, CPU USA 47544, took orders in part from Joseph Stalin, who offed millions, and their tampon Tim was rooting for the same party. That's disturbing. We see on both coasts, California, San Francisco, L.A., New York, a lot of Democrats have a lot of Chinese spies working for them. Maybe not a lot, but it's in the media. If it's in the media the way it is, then it's probably double or triple the problem. As we know, Rochester, New York has a shocking crime problem. Shocking crime problem. Mass shootings. DCOM 20 covers them. The shootings at Martin Luther King Jr. Park. The city of Rochester knew about the shootings. It was posted on X about trouble was brewing. The city and the leaders, as their job is to run the city, would have seen this. The local Democrat politicians obviously saw this. And what happened? Well, the police were not around because Democrats didn't want the police around. In the sick world that just lost the election, in the sick world where mass shootings, mass shootings are allowed, are allowed to happen the way they, the way are, they are in Rochester, Rochester by Democrats, it is not surprising that a mass shooting was at Martin Luther King Jr. Park, all to benefit the Democrat Party. If it didn't, then the media would not cover it. The media covered the mass shooting at Martin Luther King Jr. Park the way they're supposed to cover it. It may have been mentioned, but that's it. If there was a way for the Democrat Party to benefit from the mass shooting of the black people at the MLK Jr. Park, it would have been bigger news. However, it did not help Democrats, so the Democrat Party media there in Rochester covered it up. Unbelievable. You would think that Democrats would want to stop mass shooting of black people. They don't. If they did, they would put more police in those areas. Wow. And this is why Democrats just got shellacked in the race. You're insane world. You say, oh, well, there's going to be mass shooting at MLK Park. It was posted on X. And what happened? Well, I'm sure the police would have loved to have been there and stopped the shooting. However, they work for Democrats, and the Democrats ordered them. Yeah, you could stay stay at the other side of town. We gotta that we, we need to have the shooting happen so Kamala can go out later today and say uh, uh, black people are the victim, and uh, this and it's obviously all part of a uh, anti Second Amendment campaign stunt. So the shooting at Martin Luther King Jr. Park in downtown Rochester, which was covered heavily by DCOM twenty and ignored by the Democrat Party city media, was deliberately let happen by the Democrats as part of their ongoing campaign to stop Donald Trump and other Republicans from winning. However, this stunt, this terrible racist stunt by Democrats where they allowed young, beautiful black people 
to be shot instead of having police there was a campaign and it backfired, as we saw when Donald Trump was re-elected as President of the United States for the second time, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, you've heard it here first, and you will only hear it first. The mass shooting in Martin Luther King Park Jr. The shooting in MLK Jr. Park in Rochester, New York this past summer was allowed to happen by Democrats as part of their ongoing campaign to please the far left, the communists, the Marxists, the anti-police people. Democrats let it happen because they knew there was only going to be black people there, and they knew the shooter was going to be black, and they knew the city of Rochester and their media don't care. If it wasn't going to help the Democrats, they weren't going to cover it very much. And since that's it, it didn't help the Democrats, well, we're not going to cover it. Oh, that we had a uh, uh, half a dozen uh, young, beautiful black people, most of them, obviously, probably all of them Democrats, the local media didn't care. There's only one news group who did care. That's DCOM 20 people. DCOM 20 would like you to like this video and subscribe for more great, wonderful news. DCOM 20 has a series of videos. For example, at some point during the campaign for the race, there was issues at Planet Fitness. DCOM 20 has five or more, vi six videos of Planet Fitness. Here's one video, Blonde Vacuuming Victor Planet Fitness. Here's another video that from DCOM 20. Mothers have Planet Fitness surrounded. Uh, that was two female cops. DCOM 20 called them mothers. Here's another one from DCOM 20. Soul Sister Sees White Man Walking. Here's another great video from DCOM 20. Soul Sister Sees White Man Walk as Usual. A cop had, was, a white guy was sitting there surrounded by cops. The uh, the white guy walked, which as usual, the uh, person working at the desk was a uh, wonderful black lady here's some two great more great stories from dcom 20 this is earlier this in the summer white house homeless issues here's a story soul sister homeless at white house dcom 20 story here's another dcom 20 story two black homeless on white house grounds dcom 20 has a video from kensington street in philadelphia uh, a person died in the street dcom 20 recorded it one of the people Standing there with the person who died and came back to life, yelled at DCOM 20, stop recording, dickhead. That was great. Good times. DCOM 20 has a video how uh, there's a home, half a million dollar home, two blocks from Kensington F, where people are shooting heroin right in the street. Two blocks away, there's a home for half a million dollars in Philly. DCOM 20 has stories on the Obama Mini Mart in Rochester, New York. Grape Street Cop Shooting, Rochester. There's a story, MLK Junior Park, Rochester. At that shooting in Martin Luther King Jr. Park was prescription pain pills. DCOM 20 recorded the pills and made two videos out of it. I think she wore uh, weaves. 